Thank you for joining the Salpo CRM deep dive on lost communications. The lost communications page is essentially a pool of email addresses which have come in via the email connector but are not yet associated with the contact within the system. Each email address in this location is stored along with all of the emails sent or received and are ready to go for the user to assign them within the system. The emails displayed under lost communications are only those associated with the logged in user. I cannot see the lost communications of another user. Until an email address in the system is assigned against a contact, the CRM has no way of knowing where that email should go, which is why it requires manual intervention of assigning that email address. I'm going to go ahead and take you there. Under the communications tab in the main header bar, if you click on that, you're provided an option for lost communications. And this brings you to the lost communications page. From here, you have the opportunity to add the email address to an existing contact, create a new contact, or ignore it. By ignoring an email, it removes the email address from this page, and the system then knows to no longer gather emails from this address in the future. The email address will still map into the user's email account, it just won't be pulled into the Salpo CRM. Users can resync ignored emails though from the view ignored emails page, which is at the top right of the screen here. If an email address um, is added in the normal way to a new or an existing contact, meaning I've gone under the contacts profile page and then just manually added an email address there, um, and the email happened to be sitting in my lost communications page, then the address stored here and the email stored against it. So if we're looking at this first one here, Alia Adam, then all 22 of those messages will map automatically into that contact and transferred over, meaning they'll move off the lost communications page and be stored under the communications tab within that contacts profile page. And remember, each user can only manage their own lost communications. I can't manage the lost communications of another user on the system. To, now to manage the communications here and assign them, I can click multiple email addresses at once or click a single message at once. So from here on the right hand side, now you'll see I have two options. I can either ignore or add this address to. So on, using these options on the right hand side, if I click into the ignore drop down, I can ignore all existing lost communications or I can add Ali Adam to my ignore list. So this would mean that Ali Adam would no longer pull into the Salpo CRM whether that contact exists in the system or if the contact is just sitting in my lost communications or that email address has been sitting here. Or I can add this address too, and meaning this email address would be added to a new individual, a new organization, or an existing contact. If you choose this option, I do an existing contact, then a lookup feature will pull up with here and I can assign what type of email this is. Or if I want to assign it to a new individual, the add individual screen will open up where I can then add in the details and create a new individual. If I know that Allie and Andrew are the same person and I have both of their email addresses here, I can then do a bulk action in here as well. I'm given the same options on the right hand side if needed. So I have two email addresses here. So I can ignore all existing lost communications again, which means everything on the left side of the screen. Or I can add the selected addresses in bulk to my ignore list. Under the add addresses to, I can again add to a new individual. And you'll see here that both addresses are added against one single contact. So you can't select multiple addresses and then add one after another add in. It is that if I select multiple addresses here on the left side of the screen, then all of those addresses would be assigned to one single contact. If I choose to ignore an address, I will get a pop-up reminder 
that says, do you want to confirm? Because this will ignore all moving forward. If I say yes, it will then send it over to my ignored addresses. If I jump into that option, then I can see both email addresses have been ignored. These emails can be restored into the lost communications section by clicking on remove, and this will remove them. If I want to be preemptive and add an email address in here, knowing that it's um, any HR payroll communications should not be pulled into the system because that needs to be handled personally um, in my own email inbox, I can add in this email address proactively. I don't have to wait for that email to come into the system first to have it ignored. And so that's how you manage your uh, lost contacts. We do recommend that you check your lost communications on a regular basis. If email addresses are not managed properly, then the Salpo CRM isn't properly being kept up to date with the latest communications and users can't officially be informed of the most recent status of a contact. It's also an excellent way to build up your list of contacts and managing the relationships between them. So and maybe as a side tip, it's pretty satisfactory to go through and remove items off of a list. So remember to keep this updated. If you have any questions um, or when you're ready to do more, check out the documentation and tutorials on our website and look into our Knowledge Center documentation. Thanks so much for joining.